So please start on your feet and notice your stability and your mobility if they go together. And just go for a walk and see how balanced you are today. Well, what is the quality of your walk right now? Mm -hmm. And then please stop and now try another movement. Now try it with your, with your right arm, keeping your right arm long. Can you draw a circle on your right side? So you can think that you have a canvas on your right side and you've got paint uh, on your hands or even your whole arm and see how do you paint the circle on this right side, on this canvas that is on your right side. Yeah, keeping your right arm long. Great. And do you look with your eyes, your, your face towards your right hand? And then try going the other way, moving your hand in the other direction, continuing to paint this canvas on your right side. And see, as you do this, um, what's happening in your pelvis and what's happening in your feet and ankles? Are you shifting the weight from side to side, from front to back? And remember, always doing the movement easily. Yeah. Okay, please leave your right hand and then go with your left hand. So now you have another huge canvas on your left side and you have your left hand full of paint, your left arm full of paint, and you just want to, it could be a small circle to start, just doing, see where you go easily and make the circle on this canvas on your left side with your left arm several times in one direction and see. Does this have anything to do with your feet and ankles, your legs? And then change the direction. And you can go slower or a bit swifter at a speed that suits you, that you can continue to um, pay attention to yourself and not strain. Okay, so go for another walk and see if anything has changed. Do you maybe look right and left a bit easier? Okay. So just come with your, uh, come to stand still on your two feet and your feet are parallel-ish. And then Remember the inside, lifting the inside edges and outside edges on the feet that I am kind of obsessed about. So begin to shift just your right foot, lifting the right, uh, the outside edge and then the inside edge of your right foot. And just see what happens to your body as you do this. And notice, is it your right leg turning outwards and inwards as you rock over the bottom of your right foot going from side to side? Is your pelvis still or do you move your pelvis? Do you turn your pelvis left and right? Yeah. And if you haven't been moving your pelvis, then allow your pelvis to turn. And if you have been turning your pelvis already, then just keep your pelvis still and feel how rolling over the bottom of your right foot in standing. So those who are joining, we're standing um, on our two feet and we're just lifting the inside edge of our right foot, rolling over the bottom of the right foot and lifting the outside edge and seeing how your body reacts, responds to that. If you're turning your pelvis from side to side or you're just rotating 
the right leg in the right hip socket. Okay, so try the same thing with your left foot, lifting the inside edge and outside edge whilst standing. Mm -hmm. And make it easy, it doesn't have to be a huge movement. Yeah, and if um, you find it a bit hard to balance, you can always find a wall. And in fact, we will be using the wall later. Yeah, but if you need, you can always use a wall or a chair for stabilization. Mm -hmm. And again, C is, is rolling over the left, the bottom of your left foot, lifting the outside edge, inside edge is bigger than the right foot, or does it feel a bit stickier? And does your pelvis tend to turn? Or are you doing, are you just rotating your left leg? Okay. So now, can you at the same time lift the inside edge of one foot and the outside edge of the other foot? And then alternate so that you lift the outside edge of the of one foot and then the inside edge of the other so you're rocking from side to side so you're lifting both right edges of your feet and then both left edges of your feet so you're rolling your two feet in the same way in standing and see what does this make you do is your pelvis turning or are you so does your head feel like bending from side to side. How is this affecting the height of your shoulders? Are your sh does one shoulder get taller, get higher, and one shoulder get, gets lower as you rock the feet in the same direction? So when one outside edge lifts, the inside edge of the other foot will lift. Yeah, So your feet would be doing something like this in standing. Yeah, and just let your head follow. Great. So I think in today's lesson is to really um, listen for the, the, the wave, to try to catch the wave from your feet through your legs, your pelvis, your spine, to your head, your neck and head. Yeah. Great. And then go for another walk. and see if your walk is a bit different than when we started. Is there more mobility as well as stability? Perhaps do you notice already better balance? Okay, so in order to clarify the movement of spine from uh, the neck spine and chest from our feet. Please find a wall or come to a door and the wall or the door and have one hand on top of the other and then place your forehead on your hands. So lean your forehead on the back of your hands like this so I would be having a wall in front of me and you can come close to the wall, a comfortable distance, but not, not too far away from it, yeah. And like this, can you begin to roll your feet in the same direction, lifting one outside edge as you lift the other inside edge. So both of your feet would roll to the right and to the left. And the whole time you just, you, you keep your forehead on the back of your hands, and feel what is shifting below your head. Can you feel how your chest might be swinging a bit from side to side? And your pelvis, you might feel it also be moving from side to side because you're rolling your feet in the same direction. Yeah. Or maybe you feel more that your pelvis is turning
our sensing. Just make that, let that become clearer and get into the groove of rolling the feet in the same direction and just continue to let the sensation of that grow. How from the feet you're actually manipulating the pelvis and your chest. So you have the your forehead resting on the back of your hands the whole time and see if you notice the base of your neck might be swinging a bit right and left as you continue to move your feet this way. And if you want, you can take one hand away and maybe you can touch one side of your, your ribs, one side of your chest and feel, does that side that you're touching expand or lengthen and shorten as you continue the movement of rolling your feet in the same direction? Yeah, it can be a small movement or a bigger movement as long as you feel that it's pleasant, you're not straining to do this. Let your jaw be soft as well. Mm -hmm. and notice if it actually feels good to do this. And if you want, you can take the other hand and touch the other side of your ribs, continuing to roll over your feet in the same direction. When you lift one outside edge, you you lift the, the other foot, noticing what's happening in your spine, your chest, and your shoulders. Okay, wonderful. So please come away from the wall and just go for a walk and see if there's something new about your walk. Yeah. Is it softer? Do you feel taller? Maybe more upright? Or are you feeling more elegant already? Yeah, and how are your shoulders, your chest moving as you walk after doing this against the wall? So please come back to the wall and Rest your forehead on the back of your hands again. So for those who are just um, coming in, we're um, in front of a wall and we have one hand on top of the other and we're resting our forehead on the back of our two hands. And now instead of rolling your feet in the same direction, roll your feet, uh, lift both inside edges, place them down and then lift both outside edges and just make this easy and comfortable breathing as you do this and notice what where do you notice shifting higher up from your feet what's going on in your pelvis and your lower back so take time to do this leaning against the wall having your forehead on the back of your two hands and you're rolling you're constantly lifting both inside edges placing them down and then rolling over the bottom of your feet to lift the outside edges and just see what is the groove in your pelvis your hips your spine as you continue to do this in your feet yeah great And notice how you are rolling, are you, if you are rolling at all, over your forehead. Do you roll as you lift the inside edges together and then lift the outside edges together? Then are you rolling a bit towards the top of your forehead and then down towards the bridge of your nose? Yeah. When do you feel like your, your eyes would want to be looking upwards? When would they be looking downwards? And all this from lifting both inside edges of the feet and both outside edges of the feet. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so come away from the wall again and just stand a bit and see if something is different lifting the feet, the inside edges and outside edges together um, simultaneously and versus rolling the feet in the same direction as we did before. And then go for a walk. And how is this different? Yeah. Is there a bit more fluidity in your spine? And the, um, the breathing naturally. How is your breathing? Mm -hmm. So please come back to the wall again and rest your forehead on the back of both arm, uh, both uh, hands and go back to lifting one inside edge and the outside edge of the other foot. So your feet are rolling in the same way. And see how that is different than lifting both inside edges and both outside edges. And can you feel that there's a core, it corresponds that lifting both inside edges and both outside edges corresponds more to a folding, flexing in your spine and then extending in your spine, folding and opening your front. Mm -hmm. And then compare that again, go back to lifting one inside edge and one outside edge. So your feet would roll in the same way and feel how this has uh, more correlation with side bending, shortening one side of the chest, lengthening the other, your pelvis will move a bit side to side and also turn. Yeah. So just feel the difference between these two movements of your two feet, yeah? Rolling the same direction and then lifting both inside edges and outside edges. So it's not uh, important to be correct, but to feel what, how the movement of your chest and your, your neck, your pelvis corresponds to these different ways of moving your feet. So now, can you slide your head a bit to the right so that you bend your head a bit more to the right, somewhere comfortable, and then just stay there. And then continue to lift one inside edge and one outside edge of the, of the feet. So you roll from side to side like this, and your head is now bent a bit to the right, and you continue to roll your feet in the same direction gently, not hurting yourself. And notice that in which direction of your feet does it make it easier for your head to bend to the right? Either bend a bit more to the right or you just feel that it, it's that um, the direction of your feet help your head to bend more to the right. And is it not when you lift the outside edge of your right foot and the inside edge of your left foot. So when your feet, let's say, are rolled to the left, then does it make it easier for your head to bend more to the right? So then just bring your head to the center and then slide your head so we're still against the wall and slide your forehead to the left where it's comfortable and notice how when your head is, is slid to the left, is bent to the left, that your left side would tend to be shorter and your right side would be longer. And here, again, roll your feet to the uh, right and to the left. So when you roll the feet to the right, what I mean is that you would lift the outside edge of your left foot and you would be lifting the inside edge of your right foot. 
and when you roll the feet to the left, that means you're lifting the inside edge of your left foot and the outside edge of your right foot. And see when does it feel even more comfortable? In which direction do you roll your feet so that having your head bent to the left becomes more comfortable, easier, and you might even be bending your head a bit more to the left. Okay, so come away from the wall again and have a walk around. And notice your balance, your ability to shift your weight from one leg to another after doing these movements against the wall. Mm -hmm. Are you walking also a bit more um, softly on your feet, over your feet? Mm -hmm. Okay, so please stand away from the wall now. And again, if ever you need to use the um, wall for balance, you can always be uh, have one hand on the wall or you can have one hand on the chair. But if you can, then open both of your arms up to the sides in standing and go back to rolling your feet in the same direction, lifting one inside edge as you lift the outside edge of the other foot. And see what happens to your arms. Yeah, does one arm lengthen in the direction the fingers are pointing in more, and then the other arm lengthens? Is this turning your pelvis and chest, or is it making your pelvis swing from side to side. And all this from rolling your feet in the same direction. And if you ever get tired in your shoulders, your arms, you just bring them down, have a rest, and then come back with your arms. And notice as you, as you roll over your feet in the same direction, yes, yeah, sideways, are you, does it make your head turn? Do your eyes feel like looking right and left? Yeah. And when do you feel like you want to look to the right? Is it when you are rolling the feet to the right as well, or when you're rolling the feet to the left? And this can be different for different people, that you have a different uh, pattern. Yeah. Great. And then just bring your arms down, take a rest. And if you want to rest in ever lying down, you can do that. Or on sitting in a chair, feel free to do that. Or you can rest simply walking around. And see after each of these different explorations, if something has changed, if you feel something change. Mm -hmm. So come back to standing and have both of your arms um, dropped at your side, down by your sides, and go back to the same movement of rolling your feet in the same direction, yeah, as I'm indicating with my hands. Hopefully you're all understanding me. And so you would lift the inside edge of one foot as you lift the outside edge of the other foot, and then you change. And see what you notice moving, swinging or turning as you are doing this, rolling over your feet in the same direction, once left and once right. Yeah. And are you Focusing on the pelvis, see what your pelvis is doing. And now, what are your arms? How are your arms affected or pulled into this movement? Can you feel that one hand 
and tends to be what tends to go lower and then the other hand would go lower and if you're not feeling it so much then continue to roll over your feet in the same direction rolling them to the right and to the left gently and and try to combine it with the movement of lengthening one arm down and then the other shoulder would come up the other arm down the other shoulder would come up and see how you would coordinate the one arm lengthening down with the rolling of your feet mm -hmm. always remembering to breathe and we're not really exercising but tasting hmm what goes well together when when you roll your feet to the left see does it make it easier for your right arm to lengthen downwards and when you roll the feet to the right does it make your left arm easier to go downwards okay so just take another rest either walk around or just stay standing or, or have a seat sit for a while Mm -hmm. come back to stand again on your two feet and this time can you just reach your hands one hand down as the other hand would slide up the side of your thigh and then bring the other slide the other hand down as the other hand would slide up so one hand goes slides down your thigh as the other one would slide up just a bit yeah feel that your shoulders become uneven one shoulder goes down as the other one goes up and can you bring your head into this so you let your head tilt from side to side yeah great and see as you tilt your head to the right the left side of your neck gets a chance to lengthen as you slide your left hand down to the left then your left uh, your head would tilt to the left and the right side of your neck gets a chance to lengthen so now can you slide your right hand down and then let your head stay tilted to the right and have your left shoulder a bit higher so that you can be here comfortably and now can you go back to just rolling your feet in the same direction rolling them both right and then rolling them both to the left lifting the inside edges the inside edge of one foot the outside edge of the other foot and see again when does it feel like you actually slide lower down with your right hand and your head seems to tilt further over to the right when do you notice in which direction of your feet rolling do you notice that your left side can get a bit longer and the ribs on your right side would come more together and you shorten on your right side okay so please walk around again and just see if there's a difference between the two sides the length of in your right side compared to the left whatever you notice okay so come back to standing and then slide your left hand down and let your head tilt to the left and have your right shoulder a bit higher than your left shoulder and stay there with your shoulders your head somewhere comfortable again and then start the movement gently of rolling your feet from side to side keeping your head tilted hanging to the left your left arm would be longer than your right arm and staying like this bent to the left roll your feet from side to side lifting one inside edge and the other outside edge yeah 
And again, seeing which direction is it when you roll your feet to the, the right, when you lift the outside edge of your left foot and the inside edge of your right foot, that you can slide your left hand further down and your head will tilt more to the left and your right shoulder can come up higher. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after a few times, then please come back to your center, take a moment here, and then go for another walk. And see if this makes you, has made your legs a bit lighter, your chest a bit lighter. And yeah, how is it to look right and left after doing that exploration? Okay. Let's just take a, a short rest, yeah. Come, you can sit somewhere, feel your breathing before we continue on. So it's always nice to approach uh, any Feldenkrais lesson um, playfully. So these might be new ideas um, for you or ideas uh, from a different perspective. So have it like a little piece of chocolate, a small swish of wine, so that you, you, you begin to appreciate what you can feel. Yeah, not what you have to be feeling or achieving. So come back to standing, please. And can you, this time, return to tilting everything to the right so your right hand would slide downwards and then your head would bend to the right, your left shoulder would be higher. And this time, can you raise your left arm up into the air? It doesn't, if you can't have it all the way up, just have it somewhere where you can have it long upwards and then so you're bent to the right your left arm is reaching up your right arm is hanging down and go back to rolling your feet in the same direction yeah and see when you lift the outside edge of your right foot and the inside edge of your left foot meaning that you're rolling your feet towards the left see if not only are you lengthening your right arm more, but your left arm also gets a chance to lengthen. And when you roll your feet to the, to the right, then actually your arms would just shorten a little bit. See if that's the case. Yeah. Okay. So we have the left arm up, the right arm is down, hanging down, and your head is tilted to the right, hanging to the right. And you're rolling your two feet in the same direction, and you're noticing in which direction do your feet roll so that both of your arms, your left arm would, would lengthen upwards more easily, your right arm would lengthen downwards to the floor more easily. Okay. And just let that go. And change the side. So you're, you're going to lengthen your left arm down, let your head hang to the left, over to the left, and then raise your right arm up into the, the air, wherever is comfortable, and begin rolling your feet in the same direction. Yeah. And see, when are you able to lengthen both of your arms at the same time, that the right arm would lengthen towards the ceiling as your head can go further to the left and your left arm can hang down and lengthen downwards even more. Nice. So just feeling what's going on 
in your neck, the top of your chest, your whole spine. Great. Good. Please let your arms come down and have another walk. Lovely. So come back to standing on your two feet and go to opening your, your arms out to the sides and then roll your, your feet in the same direction. Yeah. And see if it's clearer how one, this would help one arm reach more to the side and when you roll your feet to the other direction, you can your other arm would get longer. And if you're unsure, my strategy is to just stay with your arms open to the sides and maybe you reach to one direction more so you create this bias and then you roll your feet the same direction underneath you as you stay lengthening that one arm and then see in which direction do your feet roll so that your arm would lengthen even more? And then go to the other side. So I just did my left side. Now I'm going and reaching to the right. And then I roll my feet right and left easily. Great. Okay. And now drop your arms for a moment. Let them rest. Okay. How's your breathing? How's your stability? Then please open your arms out to the sides again and just simply roll your feet from side to side and see if something starts, if your, your arms can catch the wave of what's, of what's going on in your feet. How one hand, one arm will reach further to the side and the other arm, other hand reaches further to the side. All this from rolling your feet from side to side in the same direction, side to side. Great. And if you were to imagine that you had a, and I love using this image with my dancers, if you had an imaginary second spine growing from the top of your head, how would your imaginary extended spine growing up from the top of your head be swaying or moving as you roll your feet? And does that somehow make your chest and your neck a bit more supple? Mm -hmm. Okay, please bring your arms down and have a walk around. Okay. Please come back to your two feet, standing still, and then open your arms out to the side again. And this time, instead of rolling the feet in the same direction, we go back to lifting both inside edges and both outside edges, yeah? Letting the legs rotate outwards so your knees would start moving outwards and inwards because you lift both inside edges and both inside edges. And having your arms out to your sides, what does, what, what starts to happen? Do your hands, your arms maybe come forwards and backwards a bit more? And do you feel how you're, you're tilting your pelvis forward and you're tilting your, the, your pelvis backwards? So rounding your lower back and, fine, and arching a bit in your lower back. And all this coming from your feet lifting both inside edges and both outside edges. 
And can you complete the ripple that you feel happening from your feet, follow your pelvis and see how that ripples out through your chest, your whole spine, your chest, your neck and head. Both arms open as you lift both inside edges, place them down and lift both outside edges. So you're just feeling for the inclination, the tendency, what what would what is um, being provoked from your feet into the pelvis, your chest, your neck, your head. Yeah. And if your arms get tired, then just place your arms down and continue doing the same thing, lifting both inside edges, placing them down, and then lifting both outside edges. And see, when do you tend to look downwards with your eyes, with your nose? And when do you feel like lifting your nose, lifting your eyes? And this can be very small and subtle, but if you need a bit more feedback, then you can just make the movement a bit bigger and see where does your gaze, the angle of your face tend to go in correspondence to the, to both inside edges of your feet lifting simultaneously and then both outside edges of your feet lifting simultaneously. Mm -hmm. And go a bit faster. Chuck, chuck, chuck. At a different, different um, rate, different rhythm, maybe even jazzy, so you can surprise yourself a little bit. Gentle surprises of rhythm, Just lifting both inside edges, both outside edges, and see what your, when your pelvis comes forward, when does it go back, when do you feel that you're looking down, when do you feel you're looking upwards, okay. And just take a rest. And just go back to your, having your arms open to the side. And go back to lifting both inside edges, both outside edges. You can do it smoothly and occasionally being a bit more staccato, which means to be a bit more um, crisp can be a bit faster. Mm -hmm. And now, keeping your arms open to the side, can you lift, can you go back to rolling your feet in the same direction, side to side, lifting one inside edge and one outside edge, going from side to side, and just let your, let your arms do what they want to be doing. Yeah. Bah. Giving occasional accents, being musical, in rolling your feet one way, in one direction, and the other way. Boom. What happens to your arms? Okay. Let it go and have a walk around. Yeah. And notice how this walk is a bit different, or maybe very different from when you started. So, Let's see now. Can you bring your right, stretch your, uh, keep your right arm long and go back to painting this canvas, a circle on this canvas on your right side, like when we started. And notice if this has become easier. Yeah. Can you imagine maybe having drawing the uh, painting a big circle with your whole arm against this canvas, against the wall. Are you able to reach back 180 degrees because you have done all of these movements in your ankle, in your ankles? And then change the direction of movement, keeping your right arm long, and then just making a circle on your right side. And what if you, you try to roll your feet in the same direction as you continue to do this? 
going from side to side and see how would you put the movement of rolling your feet side to side in the same direction how would you combine it with this movement of your arm and you feel that you can you can make this circle bigger and bigger and vertical in this vertical plane like a ferris wheel because you do something a bit more in your ankles then let your right arm come down and paint a big circle on your left side on this imaginary canvas on your left side and see how do you help make this movement easier and easier yeah and then change the direction of the circle with your left arm on your left side and if you give yourself time can you feel that there's a very definite uh, correlation or relationship between the, the direction of rolling of your two feet in the same direction to where you are in the circle so when your arm is is high up are you do you have your feet roll to the left or do you have your feet roll to the right and when you have the arm down and you're reaching down with your left arm do you have your feet rolled more to to the right or to the left yeah so let that go and just stand still for a moment and see how you feel back in standing do you feel more ready to move and yet at the same time your balance is already it's there you're moving from a place of balance and now just play around with your feet lifting the inside edges outside edges so this is the um, the improvisation portion of my lesson today and see just go play with lifting inside edge outside edge you can do it lifting both inside edges at the same time both outside edges at the same time or rolling them in the same direction or you can play with just one foot the other foot have have fun with this and then see where do your feet your ankles take your pelvis your chest your head and be a little bit spontaneous um, whimsical and see if you begin to think that your arms can float up and you allow your arms to float up anywhere in space and just see how your arms will always be able to catch these movements these um, impulses from your from just your feet through your pelvis your belly your chest your spine your shoulders your neck your head yeah So you just have to shift the weight underneath your feet side to side and then you'll you have this ability to move everything upstairs and if you have more um, mind space so you have your arms that extend out into the air as you're moving you're shifting over your feet from side to side in various ways if you have more mind space then think about the extension of your imaginary spine another extension of your spine growing out from the top of your head or maybe it's like a third arm and see how from your feet shifting from side to side you're maneuvering manipulating bringing guiding these three limbs around yeah feel how the feet move the pelvis 
and to move your chest and as a result your neck and head get to sway the extension from the top of your head and the imaginary spine from the top of your head and your two arms just sway great so just let your arms go or you can continue playing and just walk around and see how you feel after this lesson um, I'm really curious to hear yeah what you're feeling um, from this lesson and to also see if you have any questions so please feel free to leave a comment um, 